What's going on people? Ivan from I'll Get My Tools. Today I'm going to show you how to build a router sled. Anybody's making epoxy tables or any kind of tabletop and haven't splurged on a CNC machine yet, you're going to want to build one of these to level off that tabletop. It's a pretty simple project but there's a couple of key details that you can't miss. So follow along and I'll show you how to do this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a 3 quarter inch board. I definitely recommend a 3 quarter inch board because it's not going to give you any kind of flex or bowl, like maybe a half inch or a quarter inch will definitely do. So I'll stick with a 3 quarter. And also, I know plywood has been very expensive as of late, but if you can get a nice finished top, it's just going to allow for nice smooth back and forth thing with your router. Now you're probably thinking, how long should I make this sled? Well, for me, I'm probably never going to make a table larger than 4 feet. So if I take the four feet with a little bit of space on the side for the form, then you got your rails. Long story short, I'm making my sled five feet. That should be more than enough for any future projects that I may come across. If I ever get hired to do some big boy table, some six foot by eight foot or whatever the case, then I'll just build me a bigger sled. All right, now you want to know how wide to make it. Simple enough. All right, so I've got a Bosch router here. Now you want to plate with at least one straight edge here. So when that's inside your sled, it can go up and down without any issues. If it's completely rounded, it'll still work, but you're going to have a little bit of movement and play. This nice straight edge is going to keep it locked in. You can just ride your handle like this, push it back and forth nice and easy. All right, so my plate right here is six inches heavy. We all know exactly what six inches looks like. All right, so then we're going to put two rails on our board. Again, three quarters on one side, three quarters on the other side inch and a half so we've got six inch heavy plus inch and a half we're at seven and a half i'm gonna add an eighth to that just to give me a little bit of play i don't want things locking up so we'll be seven and five eighths width for my particular board all right so the next thing you want to do is find the middle of your board which is right here and i want to figure out how big of a hole i want to put within this board now most surfacers are about an inch and a half to two inches. That's probably the biggest one I'm ever going to use. So I figured let me just make this three inches just to be sure. All right, so I got my midpoint here. I go an inch and a half to the left, inch and a half to the right. All right, now it just happened to work out for my particular router. When I put my router there, line it up, the bit actually goes directly to where I need it. I lucked out for this particular case. These are just temporary, all right? This is just to make the slit within my sled. I'm gonna screw these to this piece of MDF just so it kinda locks in, and then I'm gonna slide my router up and down, create that slit. All right, I put three screws in, two, three. I'm gonna put three on this side. It's gonna lock this form in place, and then I'll be able to run my router in and out to create that slit. So I'm going to stop boring out that hole at 3 inches on both sides. All right, so you got your deck right here, board out, ready to go. The next thing you gotta do is your two slides. All right, so I got a one by four, cut it down to three inches by five feet, put one on both sides, one and two. All right, those are gonna lock the actual router in place. So I'm gonna use my little Craig jig and drill some pocket holes. Now, it's very important. You don't wanna have your guides up against the sides. Because if you drill through the sides of this into your finished plywood, what's going to happen is this is going to raise a little bit, you know? Depending on your, where your screw placement is, you don't want this thing to raise because as you run your router, it's going to be going up and down. You're not going to have that smooth 
transition back and forth. So make sure that your guides are on top of your deck and then you can use your Craig jig and just toenail those screws every foot or so just to lock these rails in place. All right, so this is your basic Craig jig. This is three quarter material, obviously. So you wanna set the three quarter mark at your arrows. I'm not gonna do a whole class on Craig jig. That's for a whole nother video. But I have markers right here, which depict the middle of the drill point. So I'm just gonna line up one of those with this mark right here, just like that. And then you gotta make sure that you clamp these. So again, this is your basic kit. Give it the old clamp. And just briefly, this is the uh, box for the Craig drill bit set. So this goes in here, it comes with a collar. All you gotta do is line up that collar with three quarters because we're doing three quarter inch wood. All right, and that's where it's set at, as you can see, and it'll work perfectly for you. Again, that's for another class. And you just drill your first one. Simple. All right. And then you just move on down, line it up, clamp, drill. It's a simple procedure. Got our deck, got our rail, our pocket holes. We clamp this down nice, all right? inch and a quarter screw put that bad boy in there like this locked in moving on down all right so we screwed in all of our pocket screws on both sides rails are nice and tight and then I just put two blocks on both sides all right just to clean it up lock it all together and then your router won't slide out now you want to put a stop plate on one side of your router sled all right you want this thing to be able to catch whatever your form is for your table so see how it hangs this is about two and a half inches which should be plenty for any kind of form that i'm going to make in the future okay and depending on how big your form is for your table um you're going to want to put these blocks that are going to actually ride along the rail so I'm doing an epoxy table right now, so I already have the form built. I know that that actual um, rail is at 29 and a quarter and 30 and a quarter. So I'm just going to take my blocks that I just cut, just basic blocks, line those up, put a couple of brads in them. All right, so you got one here, pull it on the other side as well. That's the basic construction for your router sled, all right? I went about five feet for future projects, even though my project right now is only about 30 inches. I put a stop plate over there, a couple of blocks right there, and then we board out the middle, three inches. All right, so you can take your router, the old test fit, perfect. Slide up and down. Locked in, no issues. Sweet. Lock this into my table. I got my depth set. So it's gonna just basically go in here. What I'm gonna do is go back and forth and keep sliding this down like that as I go back and forth. It's gonna take some time, probably do about an eighth inch at a time. 